Okay, moving on to some other bits um, in the K2 dashboard here. Um, I've shown you categories. Um, here's uh, the, the tags uh, part, which is very, very simple. Um, literally, to add a new tab, uh, tag, sorry, um, you just enter the name. Okay, these will then show up in all of the item uh, views uh, for tagging an item to a tag. Uh, commenting um, is something that is built into K2 as standard. Uh, we actually have it turned off on the uh, on the Anchoris uh, website, um, but you can include it. Um, you will get the comments uh, form down the bottom here. They can be uh, policed uh, via this area here. You will see all of the comments. Uh, you can unpublish, publish, etc., etc. Uh, we then move on to uh, users, user groups. Okay, we can actually set up groups of users and also have uh, normal users. Okay, now you know the nice thing about this uh, again, which goes sort of a, a step beyond 1.5, is um, we can set up different user groups. Okay, and via the user groups, uh, we can select um, different categories that that group can uh, actually manage and you know all, all the sort of permissions that you would expect from you know a good ACL things like you know add items edit own items uh, publish items etc etc um, and then for the users you know these are all uh, linked up uh, with Joomla um, we can actually um, extend this via Joomla plugins uh, at the moment, we just have you know male, female, um, you know name, K2 user group, but uh, an avatar and a description. But we could have uh, you know things like you know town, address, email, whatever you want. Uh, the last thing is the uh, user fields. Okay, we we can actually um, have user fields uh, which are in a certain group. Okay, so uh, a user field could be, for example, um, let's say we, we have a user group which is uh, which is version. Okay, um, and uh, we we can then assign it to a group which I don't have any set up at this moment in time, and then the type, i.e., either a you know a text field, text area, um, a drop down, where we can then add uh, the options. Uh, for the drop down so we can actually um, allow the client when he's uh, created an item um, he will have some extra fields where he can you know if, if he has a page where or pages where he's selling software you know he can put um, uh, or pick a, a version number uh, from an extra field and that, that's just about it the only thing um, to say is that uh, to be honest with you, um, on the Anchoris site, we were going along the uh, Joomla 1.5 with sections and categories, found that actually Joomla couldn't do what we wanted with nested categories um, and also uh, tagging items up. Uh, that's why we, we went down the K2 route. Um, I'm now at the point where uh, K2, if it's not just for a brochure site, if it's more than a just a brochure site, K2 is going to be a standard install. Um, just to uh, let you know that uh, these are the, the, the standard um, uh, extensions that, that I've put in here on this particular website. Um, to get the quick icons on the uh, administrator, Joomla administrator homepage, uh, we've used the, the mod K2 quick icons, which you'll find on the K2 community website. Uh, we've, we also use uh, XMAP um, for our sitemap on uh, the Anchoris website, uh, but you ideally will um, uh, install the, the XMAP. Um, sitemap for K2 as well. Um, this allows you then to you know not show category uh, pages in the sitemap etc etc. Um, one other thing that uh, is an absolute must is the JCE advanced link uh, for K2. Uh, one thing I didn't show you here is that uh, if we go back into an item um, 
suggest here okay to create um, a link okay to an internal page uh, one thing you won't get with the the, the standard JC plugin uh, and component is uh, this item here um, you'll get the, uh, the the content plugin where you can see your sections and your and your categories okay but the advanced link um, uh, plugin for JCE will actually give you the K2 content where you will actually um, see all of the categories um, and again um, you know if there's uh, children and siblings etc etc you will see all of those okay this is this is a very very quick overview um, you know it's not a technical overview just to give you an idea of how uh, K2 works what it can give you um, on and above uh, Joomla 1.5 um, and it's worked wonders for us so um, enjoy <laughs>